Welcome to Slocum Studio. Too many people live in badly designed houses and we want to change that. Today is Monday, June 27th and today we're going to be looking at a renovation project uh, to a single family house by Altius Architecture from Toronto and they did a 750 square foot addition to the front and back of a 1600 square foot house in Etobicoke, Ontario, which is just outside of Toronto. Yeah, I really like this project. I like it because of its modesty and uh, this is the existing floor plan of the first floor. It's pretty basic. Uh, coming in, entrance, little closet, enclosed, uh, dining room, living room, kitchen on the back, and then a little dinette over on the side. We've, we've done houses like this. Yeah, where the stairs are in the middle. In the middle, yeah, basic kind of floor plan coming up. Two bedrooms on the one side, master bedroom on the other, a bathroom, and then it looks like I would imagine somebody at some point in time added that en suite. Usually closet. those are an addition, yeah. So they, this is the front of the house. <laughs> it's a stony manor, yeah. um, typical. So they added uh, 750 square feet, and they did it in two areas. They did a, an addition on the back, which houses the kitchen and the dining room. They did a small addition on the front as well, which we'll talk about in a minute. And then on the upper floor, uh, that houses the master bedroom, and then the ensuite kind of straddles into the existing house, the remainder of the upper floors. I just want to go back to the, to the living, the first floor for a minute, because I think what's really nice about this plan, we're going to see it in the photographs in a minute, is the relationship of the island and the kitchen to the outdoors. And I think it's very nice that there's those sliding doors that go out to the deck right there and you've got your, the seats. It means it allows you to sit there and, and be part of that. It's, I think it's, it's very a very, nice. this is a, something that people typically don't orient the kitchen that way no. towards the window wall. And, but it actually is a very, very nice way uh, to work in the kitchen and be in the space. And just to pick up from last week's discussion about dining room spaces, I think this is a nice way to integrate the dining room into that. It's just a, a sort of I love the them end. when they're at the end. Yeah. It sort of finishes the space off. I think it's great. So this was the house before, as we saw in the rendering before, and this is it after. So wow. it's an unbelievable transformation. You can see that the addition piece on the front is this sort of roof wrapping element and then some wood infill panels and the window placement. So it's not a huge amount of uh, space, but it adds a lot of depth to the space. This is the interior of the hallway. These houses typically with the stair in the yep. middle are really dark. So the architects and worked now look hard. At this. It doesn't, it no, does it's, it's completely different. No, you can't even tell it's the same house. So a lot of use of glass uh, in order to open up the space and have I like that. Through. I like the idea of just using a single pane of glass rather than having a, uh, a, a handrail type glass. It eliminates the guardrail and the metal to contain the glass, you just have one sheet. Yeah. It's expensive, but it's a very effective thing. It's more do. minimal. It's more minimal and it lets the stair read. Um, and then this is the upper floor and they pop that skylight in, which allows the light to come down through the stair. And of course the stairs are open riser and the use of glass makes the light go right. through the space more. This, I just thinking about that glass, it actually would extend up through the opening with the, uh, with the, uh, with the stair and come up to become the handrail. Yeah. So the reading is one sheet of glass sheet all the way up to two floors. Yeah, so this is the master bedroom in the addition. And so the nice. architects use those floor to ceiling windows, uh, very simple. And this is the kitchen. So this is that uh, detail that we were talking about earlier. You can see the dining space at the end. And then to the left here, this would be that window wall uh, with the view out towards the garden. Yeah, I think those are great spaces. And then this is an interesting detail, and this we're going to talk about more throughout the, the rest of the week, but this was a, a, a sort of study space in the front and typical sort of millwork. And this is what they did to it. And they, they reoriented, they, they added a bit of depth. You can see that the millwork is actually quite deep. The window punches out. And uh, the, the shelf there that uh, houses the, uh, the, the drawer unit below has a lot of depth. So it's, it's kind of a variation on a bay window yeah. in a sort of contemporary way. And I love the way that the bookshelves wrap up and over. And You've over. got that sort of sense of enclosure by the... Well, and it just seems to me that this would be a great place to just sit. <laughs> You know, and uh, and we got a light, light there the light and pillows. read with the light. It's just it would be. I think it's a re as you say a really nice reinterpretation of the typical bay window. I don't like bay windows, but I do like this. I would have a bay window in my house if it looked like this. So would I. All right. Well, we're going to carry our discussion along about millwork in the coming days. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. If you're interested in learning more about the principles of slow home design, you can pick up a copy of our book entitled, What's Wrong With This House? It's a practical guide to finding a well-designed and sustainable home. It's available for sale on the Slow Home Studio website. It's also available for sale at Amazon.com in both paperback and the Kindle format.